nation's last frontier is, in many ways, its ground zero for climate change. Alaska's temperatures are rising twice as fast as those in the lower 48, prompting sea ice to disappear in the summer. While this may eventually open the Northwest Passage to sought-after tourism, oil exploration and trade, it also spells trouble as wildfires increase, roads buckle, and tribal villages sink into the sea. First-time visitors to the 49th state might be surprised to find literally hundreds of miles of roads under construction and repair during the spring and summer months. Telltale signs are common from huge potholes and parking lots to collapsed hill slopes and leaning trees in what they call the drunken forest in the Denali National Park. Permafrost has existed for eons. During the last ice age, it swept as far south as Missouri and Illinois. Today, most of it is located in Russia and Canada, but the United States accounts for about 6% of the world's total, and almost all of that exists in Alaska. It has a top active layer that thaws and refreezes each year, and a deeper layer remains frozen and stores organic carbon from decaying plants and animals, possibly twice as much carbon as is actually in the atmosphere. Many Alaskans are skeptical about the climate link. Permafrost has been thawing since the last ice age, and many say it almost depends on naturally occurring variabilities. Still, Alaskans are deeply concerned about permafrost changes. Roads affected by permafrost thawing are common. There are places around Fairbanks where there's asphalt 10 feet thick because they've been filled and refilled to keep the leveling off the roads, and they do it on an annual basis. No matter which side of the ecological argument you find yourself on, when you come to Alaska for the summer visit, be prepared for long delays and stretches of 30 to 40 miles of road repairs at one time. <laughs>